So welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. And today is September the 16th, 2021. Our topic for tonight is embrace your truth. So last week I shared um, like during the, the, the September 9th uh, gateway, the, the 9-9 gateway, I shared that there, there's been two, three types of walk-ins and one of the three types is, is that more of your own divinity or essence is going to be walking into you, meaning that um, you would get access to more of your own um, knowing, more of your own abilities, more of your own power. And, um, and so I mentioned that last week that I actually felt that my own divinity actually, I, I did get a walk in. Like, it's like what happened was um, maybe about, I, I forgot now, maybe about um, two weeks ago or 10 days ago, I got this, I got this um, announcement from. So I was told that uh, this is going to happen, that more of my higher self is going to be available for me. And, and so, my, so I want to actually share with you my journey in terms of how I'm doing with that walk-in. And because all of us, um, it's my understanding that all of us, not just um, some of us, but actually all of us who, who so have, um, has kind of made that choice to go into the fifth dimension, or at the very least, um, is, is ready to move into the, the, the 3D, organic 3D experience, and eventually to go into the the fifth dimension experience, the organic experience, all, all the souls who have made that choice will, this is something that we will all experience. It's, and so that's why I think it would be beneficial to kind of share what my experience of that was like so far. And I want to preface this really to just by saying that this is not just you know happening to me and I'm special and anything of that. No, it's going to be available to anyone who is ready to embody more of themselves because this is something that as a human collective, we all agreed to do. And so that's why the um, the timing has has been so that this is the time that we are going to get more of that energetically be available to us to assist us in um, getting through this part. So where are we in terms of the the, the transition? Where we are at the the point where. Um, we are moving into the fifth dimension. However, the old system has, has, is still kind of um, there for us. So I, I also mentioned last time that there are actually two, two realities going on side by side. So we are seeing the old system is still available for us to see. But that is actually, it's, it's crumbling. There's less and less support of that old reality. And then the new reality is where humanity has made a choice to move into the fifth dimension. And we're going to um, have a very different experience of what being human is going to be like. And part of the 
the old system is that we we forgot who we are we we don't remember who we are and so the whole old system is set up so that we um like when so we forget everything when we come into onto this reality um that we call it earth when we get here we totally or at least the vast majority of us totally don't remember who we are we don't remember the lives that we have lived before even though um most of us has lived really countless lives um some of them on earth some of them in other locations so and we have because our soul is eternal so our cosmic soul has been playing on not just earth but on as many different planetary systems as as many playgrounds as our soul really our cosmic soul really wanted to go to in order for the evolution of our cosmic soul and and on earth there is the the earth soul which is um the still soul still souls but souls that are dedicated to creating a very unique experience for everyone who comes to earth so that is what that's about um and actually hang on a minute i just want to make sure that yep there's there's no other noises that are going to add to the soundtrack so where was i okay so we have decided as a um as a collective that we're going to move into a new way of playing on earth and so we're in this transition period where both the old way of playing on earth and the new way of playing on earth are both both reality is kind of existed um, side by side and depending on who you are and what you focus on and what your soul's choice really is whether you want to um, still play in whatever's left of the old system or whether your soul really chose have already made the choice to play in the the new reality so the more you focus on really empowering yourself and and really to embody who you are as as your own essence as your own divinity and so the old system what it is like is that we don't remember who we are and as we come here to to play we we agree that we give our power away to our parents, to the culture, to um, the, the collective reality. We agree that we're gonna give our power away. So the, the way we play is that we don't, we don't have our own authority. We don't, empower that we don't remember that part of ourselves and so the new reality is that the new reality is about stepping into our own power it is about remembering who we truly are and we are eternal spirits and we are simply having an experience and so that is a very different kind of play. So my experience of actually having more of my own essence and divinity walking into me um, after, 
I kind of got the download, the, the message that that's going to happen to me. What I felt was really a, it's like, um, energetically, it just felt like there's this big wave of energy that is coming through my body. And I really felt it's like everything seemed to be aligned. And um, so that's for the first maybe two, three days. That's what I felt is that just so much energy going through me. And it's, it's like for, for those couple of days, it was like, I just couldn't really, um, I don't really need to sleep much. I don't really even need to eat much as well because my own divinity my own essence has so much energy available um it's so powerful that that that's what i felt for a couple of days and then after that it was like it, it seems like the energy um started to be more integrated and it leveled off and so it's kind of like Oh, it, uh, it leveled off and I kind of forgot about that for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it's like, um, what it felt like was, um, I wouldn't say that it's a life review, um, but it's, but it's also that's kind of the best description of it, like, I don't know whether you've heard that, you know, before we die, we have this, this life review where everything we've done in our life, I we would, I would just have that. So it is something similar to that, that I had. I mean, I didn't die, nothing like that, but that was what was um, going on in my, in my, um, in my conscious mind. That's during the daytime, not, not, mm, and, and so what happened was there's, there was really, it's like for a couple of days, maybe for about a week, it's not like 24 hours like that, but there would be bursts of consciousness that all of a sudden I would be looking at one aspect of my life, let's say, um, my relationship my, with my family. So it was all of a sudden I would have this burst of consciousness that kind of let me know why my relationship with my family is the way it is, what I have contributed to creating the way that it is, and, um, and, and also um, why we are having these dynamics. So it's, it's kind of like a full download of everything that I needed to know in order to, to see that that is like, there is this, all of a sudden, this clarity. Whereas before I, you know, I really didn't have as much clarity. That's, it's like I, yeah, all of a sudden, I have this conscious download of all the the beliefs that I that I um, have subscribed to, and the beliefs that each of my <clears throat> of the people that's in my family has subscribed to, and how how we play off each other, what we are there to be for each other. So all of that, I got a full download. And it just, it's like this bright light being shined on this family dynamics. Boom. And that happened um, for, it, it, it's kind of like it went through to <clears throat> several, several people, several relationships, how it was, um, how the dynamics are and what it is that I, um, my own contribution to this creation. And then the next light, kind of the next day, the light was shined on my, uh, the, I would say the career, but it's more than a career. It's, it's more like my, um, 
my contribution, what I'm here to do in this lifetime, what my purpose is. So all of a sudden there is this bright light being shined on this area of my life. And I all of a sudden um, got the download on what it is. I got really clear on what it is that I'm here to do and what I've done so far. So, so it's like um, what my soul is trying to do and where I'm at. And then, so it's, so each, each day, or I would say each time there's this burst is all of a sudden one, it, it kind of, there's a bright light being shined on one area of my um, reality in my life, what I've created. And it's this bright light where I get to see everything and, and it's, and I'm not seeing it from my, my ego's perspective or from my personality's perspective. It's like I'm seeing it from what is real, what is actually being created. And I can see where it is that I could have done better. And I can see like for, for each area of my life, and I, I actually saw from each of the relationship that I have created in my life that is meaningful in my life. In currently, that's what I've been shown. And it's this break, big bright light that's being shined on just the whole life that I've created in this, in this reality right now. And there is no, it's like, I know everything that all the beliefs that went into why I created that um, part of the reality, the way I've created it. So it is really, I think the best way to, 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 to kind of say it is it's a life review um, only it's it's not something that like I'm, I'm not dying I, I'm pretty sure about that it's not about that it is really about um, because more of my own divinity and my own essence is coming in so I get a chance to really see my own creation, which is everything that I've created here from a bigger perspective. It's so from that perspective. And uh, it was not, I have to say that it was not easy to do. And there have been, I wouldn't say for long periods of time, but maybe there's been a day where it was, I, it really felt like, all the um, disappointments, all the the guilt, the shame, and all of that is kind of it, like things that I could have done better. I should have known better, and all that. It, it's 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 just in my face. So so there was no no hiding. Nothing's being hit from myself. I can actually see everything that there is to see. I get a glimpse of how um, um, my, my own mind works. And that is, so that's what it felt like. And then the, that's, so that's the not easy part of it. But then the really cool part of it is that when I try to go into the, the guilt and the shame, I also have this understanding that there's nothing to feel guilty about. There's nothing to feel shame about. There's nothing that I have done that is wrong. No, it's not about that. That was not what this is about. 
it's not about um, assigning good, bad. It's not about giving. It's not about grading myself. You've done this good. You've done that bad. You bad girl. It's nothing like that. It's, no, it's actually just to the light was there to just shine on it so that I I see all of the um all of the stories, all of the things that I'm I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm not aware of, is that I'm kind of aware of, but I don't want to be aware of. So this I don't want to be aware of is off the table. So does not matter whether I want to be or don't want to be aware of, it's just being shown to me. And it's not shown to me to assign blame. There's no, absolutely no judgment. And, and, and like, even though that I could just feel some blame or guilt showing up, there's some fear, there's all of those different emotions coming up, sadness, whatever you, like all range of emotions coming up, but they only came up for a flash. And then there is this understanding that it's, there's nothing to be shamed, nothing to be, to um, be sad about, no, nothing of that. It's, it's actually just to let me know this is what I've created. And those are the, the stories behind it. That's why I've created my reality um, the way it is. So now what are you going to do? That, I think that's more it is to really let me look at my own life from without any pretense, without any assigning any blame, any thing of that sort. Just look at where you are and now what do you want to do? So that's really what that was about. This, this life review is, is really to let me know where I'm at. And then it's up to me to decide where do I want to go from here? And there is, I wouldn't say that it is, um, so what, what I, the work that I know that I need to do now is really to hold that that knowing, that essence, that divinity part of me that knows that I'm here to to do a certain thing. I the my soul wants to come here to do certain things and because of all the um the years of um i would say willingly take on the role of disempowering myself like I, I took on that role of giving my power away. And now what the this walk-in um, scenario allowed me to do is really to see where I'm at. And then it is up to me to um, decide what is next. And knowing that I came here for a particular purpose, and it's not really to <clears throat> hold me to that purpose. Actually, I am actually free to choose a completely different purpose should I decide to do that. I see it as being a an open road, like in, in, in terms of, you know, yes, I, my soul came here for a purpose 
there are certain things and that's why I've arranged um, life as, as it is right now. But then I still have that free will to choose whether I want to or how I want to um, complete that purpose or whether I really search within myself and get to the point where I decide that, oh, okay, this is done. Because at the time when I come here, the it was for one thing. And now, now that all of that has happened, now what? now is everything is completely open and it's like I'm fully empowered to choose where I want to go from here and from a conscious point of view I I know that and I'm really grateful of that opportunity, but from a, an embodiment point of view, I still realize that my, there's still, uh, I would say as I'm still integrating that consciousness within my body and that I'm, I'm really um, still going through the process of that integration and what does that mean it really means that i have to i would say look at each and every one um of the pain that i feel in my body each and every part of my body and really because my body is how i interface with this reality and the, I'm st actually still finding that there is a disconnect I'm noticing that there is still that disconnect and and so I, I'm still getting to the point where I can align my body to where my consciousness is and also to align my body to where my consciousness wanted to take my body to. So there, so this, there is this um, integration period of integrating all of that knowing and consciousness and that um, the higher access that I get. And, and so that is what's going on and that was my experience of what having more of my own divinity and essence walking in to my body feels like so the last i would say um well <laughs> i would I'd say that since the beginning of september um it that has been so it hasn't been long even though the process has started before that, but it was really this, this level of walk-in was, it's really another level. It really took um, my own knowing to another level. And I'm very grateful for that access. And I'm not saying that each of you, anyone that is hearing this, that that is exactly what's gonna happen to you. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm only sh sharing this because this is what was real for me, what is still real for me. And each of you may have a, would have your own unique experience of what having your more of your own essence and divinity walking into you. And, and that will be available 
when that is going to happen, I don't know. Um, maybe it already has, and you are you are just in the process of integrating that. And so all of you will have to um, do that process. So all I can do is just share um, my own takeaway from it. So the first takeaway I just want to um, notice is that our body has lived um, in a state of being disempowered for a long time. It's, and I'm saying that not, not to say that oh, everybody is, is disempowered or that there's anything bad about that. It is, that's just how, what I'm saying is that no matter how much you feel that you are walking your talk, that you are empowered, is that there is always room to grow. Um, and everyone has a different set point. Um, so it will be a unique experience for each one. And I would say some of us may, for some of us, it, it may happen more gradually. For, for, for some, it may be um, more intense, no matter how your experience is, is to really know that everything is happening for you. Because we, um, that's, that our soul um, is really in charge. It's always been in charge. Even when we have been victimized, yeah, our soul has always, it's still been in charge. <laughs> It is just that um, we somehow got it in our, in our consciousness that we want to experience this being victimized. And it's for a purpose. We may not understand what that purpose is in the moment that we um, got knocked over, we got victimized, we may not understand what that was for. But it's when you have more of your own divinity walking into you, then you would start to have a glimpse of and get to, to find out more about what it was all for and then it's up to you to decide whether you still want to play that role or you want to shift out of that um and it's always your call to shift out of it we don't give ourselves i would say we we don't really believe in our own power not quite yet because of we haven't been conditioned to own our own power yet. And we've been conditioned, actually very deliberately conditioned to, to give away our power or to look um, to someone else to do the right things for us. And so this is when more of our divinity and our essence is available, then we truly understand that we have so much more control and that all we have to do is make that choice. And the other thing that I, I also become more... Um, 
I would say present too, is about emotions. Now, um, human beings have rich emotions. Our emotional body is really so, 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 uh, so much of a part of us. But as more of my own divinity is coming back online, I totally become aware that our, the, our emotions is, is actually there to support us, to experience what our consciousness has chosen to experience in a more vivid way. So, so I, I remember one day I was really feeling all this fear about what could happen to, it's, it's like, oh, we, we are not going to be able to um, eat out in the restaurant without, you know, show, showing a pass. And then what's next is going to be, we can't even uh, go on public transit without doing that. Or it could be that we may you know, be um, heard it, um, like dragged out of our own home for those of us who don't want to comply and then be herded into all these you know, FEMA camps. Like all of those stories has been floating around. And, and um, yeah, they've been floating around. So I remember one day I was really feeling that fear in my body. And, um, and so, but now this time around, because more of my own divinity is available to me. So I, I totally understand that that is simply, I'm simply playing with an idea. Should I still play the victim role? or not, um, or do I want to choose to really know who is the, the, who is the boss, who is really creating my own reality and creating my own experience. And so when I really shift out of that consciousness, shift out of that um, victim mentality, I actually felt that fear just, it just slipped right off me. And I just felt that um, shift in my own state so much so. And that, so what I'm trying to say is that our emotions, whether it is fear, whether it is, um, shame, guilt, anger, sadness, joy. Like it does not matter whether it's a negative emotion or a positive emotion. It is simply there to support us. Our conscious mind pick, we pick, we choose um, what ideas that we want to play with and then our emotions kick in to support us to have a full body experience of that so that was my understanding of what emotions really are and it's it's a brilliant it's a brilliant setup and it also gets back to um, knowing that we are not a victim of our emotions. We, we actually can choose that. We can choose to feel the emotions, but know that the emotions are simply there to support us because behind the emotions, there is a choice that we have made. And that choice is about focusing on certain ideas and to create our 
our reality and experience from those ideas. And when we understand that and we shift and pick the ideas that we want to play with um, more consciously, then we actually have a lot more choice over what our emotional body is going, what the role that our emotional body is going to play in all of this transition. Um, and then this, I just also want to know that it's, want to really stress your body, to stress, to really take care of your body. Be very conscious of what you feel in your body because your body is the way that you interface with this reality. And when you pick your consciousness, when you become a lot more aligned in your consciousness, then you're, you're also aligning it in your body as well. And when your body and your soul and your consciousness and all parts of you are aligned, um, that's when you can really move through this reality and, and become a master of your reality. Now, I say a master of your reality does not mean that that means you are going to be, um, let's say you're going to be able to be rich or be able to levitate or, you know, be able to um, have telepathy, to know what's going to happen next, be really good um, at tapping in your intuition, all of that. I'm not saying that that is, that is it. I am just saying that being a master of your reality simply means that no matter what is happening in your reality, you understand that whatever is happening in your reality is happening for you. If you are seeing something that is um, out of alignment, then it is up to you to choose to get into alignment or not. It's, it's really totally your choice. And when you start to feel into your own divinity, your own essence, and you get to feel that essence in your body and to get used to that feeling of being aligned with your divinity, then um, it's like you have this I would say this, um, this, this gadget that right now, sign, no matter how the, the how um, clever science is, there has not, there's yet to be a, um, a machine or any kind of machinery that can detect that, but your body, should you get to the point where you 
really pay attention to aligning your body and really pay attention to what when you are true to your own divinity when you're listening and you are completely aligned with your own truth what that feels like in your body when you fully integrated that in your body then you would get to the point where you can simply walk into a place or and just be in the presence of someone else and you would be able to know um, what really is going on outside of you. You don't need to be able to read the other person's mind because when you know who you are and you are resonating in your own truth, then anything that someone else say that does not resonate with your own truth, you would be able to decipher it. And you would be able to, um, you have a choice of whether you are going to play with their idea or um, how much to play with it or simply say, no, thank you. I... It, that does not resonate with me. I don't want to play with you like that. And simply walk away. And that is what mastering your own reality is about, is to actually be able to integrate your own truth to really know what being true to yourself feels like and um, and when you really have integrated that in your own body you embrace every like your own truth and you um, we don't have to defend you don't have to defend the truth because what is true for you it's just true for you. It, it does, you. you don't have to have everyone else convert it to you because when you, when you know your own truth, you, um, you get to the point where it's okay for other people to have their truth as well. And when you exchange with someone else, you are simply exchanging your truth with them and they are exchanging their truth with you. And if there is some common ground, then you um, proceed to co-create together. And if there is no common ground, then it's okay. You don't have to shoot them down. You don't have to you know, convert them. They don't have to be wrong. They just don't, their truth just does not resonate with you. And that's okay. And um, that is where they are at. And you are just at a different um, space, time than they are. And that's okay. So that's really about embracing your own truth and integrating that and when and also within your own body do the work of letting go of things that no longer resonate with you the more you do that the more you um, become conscious of what resonate with you what is really true for you and 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 stand up for yourself and really stand up for your own truth and when you can do that and embrace and embody that then that's what we are here to do and then you are really actually in very good um a good spot to start to create 
create from where you're at. And that's where we're, that's what this period of time, as far as I know, is about, is for us to start to reclaim that because we, we've lived too long to not be in our own truth. And it is time for us to reclaim that and to feel that, align with that, to embody that. So much so that um, when we walk into something that is not true, we can feel it in our body because that's what we are supposed to, that's, that's what we can do, actually. We, our body is actually that sensitive. It is just that we have, um, we have deadened, we have, we have taken on so many layers of um, disempowerment and untruth that our body has become numbed and it's no longer doing what it's capable of doing. And our body is being, it's being stimulated to recognize, to start to come back online to support our, um, our growth in consciousness. So this, this period of time is really for us to tune into our body, become really, because our body is, is actually the, um, it's really all of our thought patterns all of the things that we have been playing with, the ideas that's in our mind, being in a physical, physical form. That's what the body is. So when you start with your body and start talking to your body and start investigating and start to um, know what being in your own truth feels like in your body. When you consciously do that work, do that integration work in your body and give your body what it needs to, in order to, for your, the body to transform, become, to, to let go of all those um, layers and layers of patterns that is blocking us from being able to be that reflection of who of what is our true self then we'll be able to move in this reality in a much more coherent way and our health, like when we get to the point where we are congruent, our immune system, it's, it's like the, the, the signature of disease cannot come in anymore. So because um, illness has been one of the ways that we have used to keep ourselves down. So when we get to the point where we are ready to take back our own truth, our own divinity, then our body will become naturally and organically healthy and resilience. So um, let's see what else do I, do I want to mention? I think that's all I have to share. That, that is 
is really um, the the so far that is all that I have um, experienced from my own growth of all of that and that's all that I was able to pull out from um, the experience of from the beginning of September till now. So thank you very much for this opportunity to share my experience with you. <laughs>